Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. TMI! This is the TMI episode of Incoherent Ramblings! Welcome to episode 50! We made 50! And for some reason, Kale chose sex to to celebrate our 50th episode. Oh no, I didn't bring Lou. 50 would be my aggro, that is. I'm your host, Joey Shamble. With me is Paul Huttinger, Kale Anderson, and Daryl Jors. And also, guest star tonight. Joe, a.k.a. Ralph. Yes, he's actually Joe. Nobody knew that. Oh, my God. I was going to say Joe. He's here. Voice of Woman. Oh, and of course, Voice of Woman, as always. All right, our sponsor tonight is... Austin Powers. I was yeah, gonna yeah baby. Thank you, because mine's not that good. Because uh, it's all about baby. sex. We we took we did him instead of Ron Jeremy because he's okay, a little you gotta do the, do you, smoother. Do I make you randy, baby? Do you make, you horny, baby? <laughs> do you make me horny? Do I make you randy, baby? Oh, I guess we should have practiced. Oh, was that that was the mine was the worst one. No, then it, that, <laughs> one, that turned into Bane. Do I make you horny, baby? Sponsored. Do I? Do I make you horny? <laughs> so anyway, remember you can oh uh, you can always email us drop a beat at show. I have I have a penis under this mask. Show at I am rambling dot com. I can't get through Joe. Because Dick Face was a horrible superman. <laughs> This, All right. this show is not even going to go on the rails. <laughs> oh, I know. It's not. It didn't even start. <laughs> All right. So uh, our topic today, as said earlier, is sex. And we're going to be going, let's see, we're going to do our usual pre-ramble, but then following that, oops, sorry, guys. I don't want my voice to be too far over, okay. is going to be the intro to sex, what qualifies as sex, break it down, sex, break it down, foreplay, sexual intercourse, masturbation, pornography, different types of sex, what you like about sex, and a sexual conclusion. You can guess what's going to happen there. Yeah. Uh, money gonna shot. A climax. <laughs> it's a climax. <laughs> in the money. Circle right. jerk. Okay, uh, Joey is also with us today. He has certain, uh, he, he. No, he says oh, he's that. not on camera, but he said if he has anything like to say, he'll raise his hand. Hey, he's doing yes. it. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, Joe. Would you like to just have me say what I want, and that way it's easier for everybody to understand? And However you want to do it, Joe. <laughs> we'll cue you. You jump in. Hey, Joe, it's like sex. You do it the way you want to. Great. <laughs> in if you well, guys with permission. ask me a question, yeah. but you gotta feel how it's I, going. All I ask is that you try and not to interrupt or try and. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not, not, not possible. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, that's, that's no, we'll make possible. it better if only a fan interrupts you. <laughs> 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 We're already getting <laughs> over. So wait, he sounds like that not because of the mask because he's got a dick in his mouth. <laughs> That's the reason. It's the mask to hide that. <laughs> okay, I think it's just about time for Yeah. All right, so starting off is is with Joey. Today's Bert the Furk is something I saw on Facebook, which uh, I think Did is... You have a little too much WH uh, in that. Do I really? It's more like Bert. It's Dude, Bert. it's my section right now. What do you want? I never finished what you... Oh, he's going to finish moved on. Yeah. We moved on. That's what we do here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, if I have a question, I'll raise it. Or if you have a question and you point... He means his hand. Answer. When he Otherwise, said raise it, he meant talk. his hand. That's all I'm talking. Got it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, Bert the Furk. Okay. The photo. <laughs> okay, so mine is about our good friend Jordy, LeVar Burton. Oh, God. Is on Kickstarter trying to raise $1 million so he can restart reading Rainbow. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only problem is going to be in Braille. <laughs> that was, oh. yeah, you, yeah, you said that. Uh, uh, you felt yeah, bad already. Yeah, I know. Uh, That's Jordy. Yeah. Really? Yes, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, <laughs> my Vert the Furk is not so much about that, but what someone commented on it. He looks exactly the same as he does when I watched Reading Rainbow. 
he's the devil. <laughs> or Immortal. he's found out Dick yeah. Clark's secret. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. He's the black Dick Clark. <laughs> The black dick? Yeah, the <laughs> ten inch long version. <laughs> what are you talking what about? What is wrong? <laughs> yeah, the black, black, black dick. Clark. <laughs> I will live forever until I get a stroke. Oh, and then my dick will be. <laughs> anyway, so that's. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I don't know either. You better so, hurry. <laughs> reading Rainbow. I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. I gotta start you quick. Is there a ding? There no, will no be. there's about. Oh. You still have 15 seconds there. You want to give it a I call? will fly anywhere. Just take a look. It's in my pants. Reading rainbow. <laughs> That's no rainbow. <laughs> That's a black dick. Go ahead. All right. Four. Now it's time for my word of the week. Can you keep it down over there? Your <laughs> weekly dose of gut, gutter talk, trash, anyway. crap that I find on the internet. Today's word of the week is, is. the Minnesota Pottery Club. <laughs> okay. All right. At least it's not Cleveland. So, <laughs> so <laughs> is it a real club? <laughs> is what I want to know. <laughs> or is it a club? Because <laughs> we know it's got to Okay. Um, I'm going to go with. It has something to do with making pottery, like this. What's that wheel called? The pottery wheel. Spinner. The spinning wheel. It's called a spinning wheel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so okay. you 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 make a penis I don't out know, of. Maybe a, it's not. I don't care. It's a lathe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what happened? I say? I got lathes. <laughs> okay. Go. I don't know. What do What do you guys think? Um, I got nothing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a group that meets up at the pottery barn. <laughs> That's all. Close. And they all speak with their Fargo accents. Close. I don't know. It's, it's naked. Uh, Make it. It's the act of establishing a group of people and shoving Play-Doh molds into their anus and pooping out shapes. Shut up. That's kind of awesome. That actually, I, I'd buy that. For I mean, I wouldn't do it, but it's fun. <laughs> Will you watch it? I wouldn't watch stars. it. I want to see the shapes afterwards and be like, stars, oh, look, it's turtles. another shit-shaped one. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Are you going to shit Mr. Bill? He's got a point. Have you put the They're all going to look like Mr. Bill. You put the mold up your butt, so when you poop it out, it makes oh, the cube. Oh, the mold. The okay. mold, not the Play-Doh. Oh, oh wait. The mold. Oh, so the it's mold. made out of shit? The mold? Oh, so you actually... Sh the, the, wait, the, the mold is made out of shit? No. I mean, I mean the no, thing no, no. you make? Yes, the yeah. end Oh, product. forget that. That's gross. That's, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to be part of that club. Sure, I thought you were I'm not going to be part of that club. No, no, it's the mold itself. So if it's like a star, it's a star. That's dumb. Wow. I, 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 I revoke my membership. You can, do that, uh, you can do that on a cookie sheet. Uh, okay, go on. Yeah. All right. It's, it smells like science, and because it is sex, we're going to talk about Teldedonics. Teldedonics. Now, because of a new world, we have mobile Teldedonics. All right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But maybe we should say what Teldedonics is. Yeah, what are Teldedonics? All right. Because I'm confused. All right. Teldedonics is actually... Uh, Act, is that uh, like Tella Dildonics? Hey, hey, tella? We're, you know, Make it more clear. Like the Tell telephone. Again. Go to Lucky. It's tell the Donics. Tella, did, tella Dildonics. Okay. Dildo, you know, What's Dildonics. Dildroid. All right. So what it is, it's Dildroid. Oh, right. Okay. And what it is, is that there's an app you can get on your phone and you can program to somebody else. The I, vibration I know, I know Scott, Paul immediately hey, gets out his phone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it on the Play Store now? Speaking of the mobile version, I just got, you know, uh, Dildonix version 4.4. It's such yeah. a fan. Yeah. I'm leaving the yeah. camera. Don't, don't launch. Don't launch. I'm, I'm, sure no. I'm sure this isn't on the app. So, so, that's so now no, wait, you put it down is, your uh, pants? Right, well, wherever you want it. It controls it. Can, it. And, and then you control oh. somebody else's phone. Oh, so it's vibrating. Just, it's not just yeah. a... Zzz, no, you can do whatever you be like. Zzz, you can stick it down your pants and it will hurt. Or it could come on your, your, your shoulder and it would. Oh, okay. Some of them kind of controlled where they like track your thrusting. Like someone on one end can be thrusting and on the other end they're receiving the thrust. Well, that's the thing is you can program Joe. any single one of those actions. Right. I'm looking for Go ahead, a vibration no, of a phone. It doesn't have to be a sexual. Thing. No, but for tonight it is. Okay, no, it's cool. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unal. It's everything. Yes, it's, unal? It's, a, <laughs> it's unitary. Unitary. <laughs> I like unal because it sounds like anal, but I yeah. don't know. But anyway, uh, so your fourth hole, I don't know. It's a uh, sending a message of joy massage. That's All right. Awesome. Ooh, vibro really awesome. 
Oh, wait, isn't it my turn now? For... Yeah. For what? TikTok! 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 All right, so what I want to talk about tonight is not how uh, Apple bought Beats, because then Joey would be like, oh, there's another... <laughs> yeah, there's another <laughs> there's another yo, 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 Dre! But you still had to mention it. Of course. <laughs> but um, the thing I'm going to mention is uh, kind of weird, because it's being announced, like, right now. Um, but SpaceX... As we're speaking? <laughs> yeah, really. Like, Elon Musk is um, unveiling Ooh. the next uh, Dragon capsule. So, Ooh! So SpaceX... Nice. Um, and that's the thing, it's like 10 o'clock Eastern time, so what is it right now, 7? Yeah, so it's yeah. like yeah. seven twenty. At this very moment! So they're doing it right now. Dude, yeah, we gotta so look it up. I don't have the specifics on it, but it's their first um, manned capsule that's uh, supposed to deliver people to the yeah. space the <laughs> Yeah, I got a manned capsule. Space station. Wow. Right. So, very cool. Saturn five rocket. Oh, so it did turn out to be cool. Yeah. Because I felt kind of bad Ooh, since the details coverage. aren't out there. Right? Live coverage, baby. Screw the podcast! <laughs> Let's watch yeah. SpaceX Gun V2! <laughs> Right. Watch it live here! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, forget about an episode talking about sex. Let's we watch rockets. We're, we're just two minutes SpaceX. away. Ooh. Two minutes away. Nice. Ooh. So okay. anyway, when we publish, we can put the details in the show notes. That'd be cool. Bam. Or we can insert it right cool. here. And I have some extra time left since there aren't can, really details. Daryl, can you put a link right here? Does it work like that? Link? Oh. Click, click. No. How about over here? Floating. <laughs> a floating link. Daryl's like, stop it! I can't edit that crap! You guys like to make a lot of f***ing work for me, don't you? You just did it! That was your beep! I know. No, that's... Yeah, by the way, this is a not safe for work podcast. Pretty much the way it is. It's not whole safe thing. for anything podcast. <laughs> we we need a condom. We yeah, need to this. this. Wear a condom when you're listening to this, this show or watching sex. it, please. This is unsafe. <laughs> this is unsafe sex. <laughs> Oh, my, I just saw the Magic Johnson. Oh, by the way, we didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just intro minor. to sex. All right, what is sex for? <laughs> is it a, is it a knee uh, or well, what? How important is it? When you get down by the to way, it, but yeah. by the way, uh, little asterisk here. Asterisk. We're not talking about gay sex, or le lesbian sex, or anything like that because that's a whole other topic. We're just talking about sex in general. So it could include that, but we're not focusing on that. Well, you want to well, be. You, we're talking just any, mostly any, about. Heterosex, then. Mostly about heterosex. That's the main thing to do. Yeah. Right. It, it, that yeah, but isn't everything except for procreating could be anything? Sex? Could be. That's I want that on a license plate. <laughs> I mean, a bumper sticker. I mean, I want that on my ass, right? <laughs> no, sex is obviously for reproduction, but because right. we need to be... Evolutionarily, it's yeah, for reproduction. When it comes but because it, yeah. we need... Yeah. Joe, you're blocking the light! But because we need... <laughs> but because we need to be... Uh, you know, so we don't have to be forced to do it. We like it, and so it's become and measurable. The light. Yeah, well, we're not talking about forcible sex. Well, that's, aren't that's we kind of like we're, we have that. this propensity, yeah. just like how we like rich foods as a survival instinct? So our genes want to survive. By but we make sure that we hump everything in our sight. But so. we make more out of it because yeah. that's what we do. We make meaning, and so right. what we do is we we make sex into meaning. Think we could just say it's like love and intimacy, but also. Some pretty damn good feeling stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you say so. Mm -hmm. uh, Kayla, you're gonna uh, have to you, keep this going because yeah, it's sex, and we're is, all kind of like. Well, the thing yeah. is, is that sex is important for your psychological well-being too. And I'm yeah. saying that I think sex is a need. It's pretty much proven scientifically. Sex is a need. It's not really a want. And by the way, don't adjust your TV set because our faces really are this red. <laughs> No, we're, we're going to be a little shocked and shy. Maybe. Oh but my God! Because we never talk about, about talking sex. about sex. Oh my well, God. you know what? It, you know what it is. We're kind of talking about sex seriously, and well, that's hard for us. It's like it's supposed to be funny. It's yeah. hard. <laughs> I mean, that's, see, that's funny. <laughs> that's <what it's>, <laughs> the thing about it is it's that hard it's hard to, to talk, talk about, about the subject without getting personal about it, and then it's drawing the line of how much personal information you want to get out. It's not like this so. is going to go out on the internet. Or, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Right. It's not like we're filming this now or anything. Oh, because even though, yeah. even though we might have <laughs> like our I'm, own I'm personal comfort pants. level with the subject, we know that other people are going to judge based on what we say. Right, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Right. Uh, Those four people can be yeah. vicious. <laughs> vicious! So sex is obviously hey. something that we <laughs> need to do. We have a need to do, even though we take feel like that. it's a want. Well, I mean, it's, it's a want to an extent. I mean, the amount of times we, we need to do it, Versus the per wants. Day. Yeah, well, it, it is the one. I mean, you're trying to hook up with people. 
when all you're not married or something. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, but right. you know, all at the same time, or just yeah. hooking up to have sex. There's people go out to clubs or wherever, and their their mission is just to have sex that night. Oh, they're missionaries. I mean, that's not. Oh, a, oh that's a whoa. word, right? Well, or yes. is it a need, Joe? People are just not honest with themselves when it comes to sex. They hide their their true Ooh, feelings when it comes to that. <laughs> that's deep. And what they want to do, they're too afraid to ask the other to do it. So they hold it back, and they don't get the true experience they want. And that's why it's cheap and unfulfilling for most. Whoa! Wow! My wow! <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Joe, you are cut. correct. Wow. <laughs> that's the, a, oh well, my that's, god! That's that's one of the, yep. That does bring up a lot of guilt issues and everything. That there are societal, you know, guilts and shames put upon certain sex acts, and then well, people are afraid to bring it up because they don't want to be a freak. Well, oh. I I have a lot more enjoyment hey, of sex. Did you not sex. notice his hand was up? Yeah, but <laughs> okay. I don't care. <laughs> oh, wow! I, I was ding, talking, ding, damn it! Ding. So let's move on. Unless we're going to extend, does anybody want to extend? extend. Derek, Joe, you can have an extend if extends. you want. Just don't be we're extending. Express yourself to your true person, to your true self, to your true other, and you will be rewarded in ways you've never thought imaginable. Okay, you're bringing this Look, way. Dude. Listen to Madonna. Express <laughs> yourself. Express. Yeah, okay. Are we? Did you say extend? No, no. No. Okay, we're moving no, on. I'm not extending. What qualifies as sex? Not yet. I like what this. No, no, wait, wait. Everything. I will be touching yeah. myself to extend. Penetration it. of vaginas only. How about fellatio? Blowjobs. Cunnilingus. Pussy naked. It says pussy naked here. Uh, hand jobs, old fashioned masturbation. Okay, well, I think once again, if we are not careful here, we'll spend this whole time talking about semantics. So, let's get it out of the way now. Right. What is sex? It can be the act of sexual intercourse, but it is often defined as more than that. I think it, it sexual stimulation is what sex is. So, we're not not the Bill Clinton. So it could be. It could. So be Bill Clinton did have, have sex, sex with yes, that he woman. Did. It did. It he did. ranges. Personally and culturally, and hey, Joe. so Joe's got his hand up. Well, we can ignore him until we're ready for him. <laughs> we're ready for him. Okay, ready, Joe, go. If it feels sexual in nature, it's probably a sexual act. That's all. Very good. Okay, yeah. that, Joe. That other... time in eighth grade. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So um, I guess technically, we had sex. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! I don't remember. Quite often, I think there needs to be a physical. Did you rape me? What happened? (laughs) (laughs) Physical. Oh no. Physical, but does it have to be physical? That's something I did not ever need to imagine. If it's sex, I think it actually has to be because, like. Phone uh, physical sex. What right. about requires well, people to true, touch themselves? What on, about talking? What about talking sexually to turn each other on but not touching? Would that still be considered sex? Yeah. No. Okay. Or play. I wouldn't yeah, say would. that. Or I wouldn't play. say that. It's Voice of woman says it's yes. A different, it's a different kind of sex. I think. So you can do that with another woman. It's okay. Okay. No. How about? How about? But there's more than there's more that than sex. Mean it's right, but it's not sex. It's just, there's right, more I'm that, that you don't do with another woman besides sex. Now here's a, here, maybe here's a better way to define it. What defines a virgin then? Like what sex acts care. do you have to perform to? Uh, you know, once again, as person. always, we're looking yeah. at a spectrum here. We've got the very someone gives somebody a massage. Is that sex? Well, you can consider it a sexual Depends act. Which parlor you're at? Yeah, that's true. Right. And then you go all the way to the other end, which <laughs> is you're having ending. sex, like the intercourse <laughs> of sex. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a continuum and a gray area. <laughs> yes, yeah, as yeah, with everything right, we say, right. but we have yeah. our own definitions. Because I'd even say that talking about sex and not having sex could be a version low grade of sex. So we're all, so we're all having group. sex right yeah, now. Yeah, we're having a... Holy oh, crazy right Darryl. now. Great. I'm not aroused, though, so I don't... I think you have to be aroused. I, I, I cool, won't cool, count cool. it oh, unless hey, I get a reach I'm around. <laughs> if I, I get a reach around, around, I'll count it. Right. What's your going to say? Uh, Linda agrees she's aroused right now. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> That was what you said? No, I agree that what you were going to say. I was going to say I was aroused. You have to be aroused. I thought you were going to say if there's no But you could be aroused by a warm all right, breeze. All right. Yeah, that is right. sexual. It's a sexual breeze. I'm in the room. She's aroused. <laughs> so am uh, I. Whoa. <laughs> Double arousal. Double-edged sword. I'm aroused every time I'm in the room. So, yeah, there's... No. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> can you arouse yourself? Yeah. I, I think... Look at her, you're like, yeah. That's part of it. Sex with yourself. 
That's probably the first sex you have. Now, in terms of women, most <laughs> people consider it the broken hymen thing. But then, you know, that oh, once again, that's one of the yeah. broken yeah. in other ways. And Dude, you know, what about uh, some women are born without it? This sounds kind of sick. But See, and I think that whole idea of so moving on. Unless well, it's unless it's it's sick thing. I think it's penetration for a Break. man. Okay, thank you. Break it down. We're gonna break down sex. We're gonna look at it as what the what are the parts of sex? What do you stimulate and when? Is there a G spot and where is it? What techniques? What works the best? Let's just talk about the pieces of sex. Now, the next two areas are gonna be foreplay and the actual act of sexual intercourse. So we don't have to go so much into those, although those are pieces and parts of sex. All right. So, so we're talking about clitorises. Well, parts of the body too, but it could also be just sex as a whole. Boobs. Different. Four pl we're talking about foreplay, obviously, and uh, stimulation. Uh, what's this before foreplay? The, the pre four arousal. Pre arousal. foreplay. There's four pre four foreplay. That's turning off the lights. <laughs> no, I'm talking about a <laughs> I'm talking like about education. They keep having all this other stuff. Like there was That's turning the air conditioner off. Kindergarten. And arousal. No. Things like that. So anything in that area. <laughs> Go. Penis. Erogenous zones. Oh, that's true. See, that's why massages can be very much be sexual as well. Right. You Probably know, any part of your body could be sexualized to the point where stimulating that part of the body would cause you to be sexually aroused. Yeah. Because some people really get off on feet, and feet do not arouse me at it, all. It depends they fall on the over. person doing it, too, because Think if I lick like, your back, I'm sure it doesn't <laughs> arouse you as if Linda licked your back. He's not a toad. You're not going to get high. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you told me I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. well, and I think that's part of it, though. It's also a state of mind. Mm -hmm. It's like, wh how do you how do you perceive this? A lot of for, for me personally, a lot of things that some people find uh, fetishy. Is that a word? Uh, I, I don't do much for me because I'm not aroused by it. And so they seem right. kind of little, kind of gross. But for other people, like a pottery club. <laughs> Well, that's why, like that's why it's very club. individualized, and you can feel like a little bit of a freak for having some yeah. preferences. Like, he mentioned the thing about feet. I happen to like feet. I think women's feet are very attractive. And, that's you know, what I'm saying. It, painted toes you, and just, like, it can, it can really can, turn mm. me on. Oh, man, I had a good nice word of the week with a toe, too. So. Anything, that's what I'm saying. Anything can be sexualized. Yeah. Yeah, see, for me, it's uh, feet. Mm. In fact, I almost think, you know, okay, this might be saying a little too much. but you my know, time. Some... As if that's possible in this podcast. But I mean, like, <laughs> like I think sometimes, um, like legs and feet, like some women are like so hot from like that whole area down mm -hmm. that I find it. I kind agree of funny. with you on legs. Well, I kind of yeah. find it funny that like you know that's completely ac accepted that they can like you know go around with their legs completely showing, and that sometimes just not in the Middle East can arouse me. <laughs> but then you know like they can't expose their breasts, for example, because that's too erotic. I'd like you know? to say though, yeah. I'm actually fine with not exposing breasts because I like the yeah. breasts not exposed so that I don't right. see everything. I like that. This, this. Because the thing like is, if, if they mystery. were shown all the time, they would lose, yeah, their, lose their, yeah. their specialness. Yeah, the specialness. I like that. That's exactly it. I like things yeah, being... Yeah, but hot legs are still special. Admit it. They're good too. They Even are. They're out all you time. just see them a little bit so more often. So anything that you don't see keeps it special? <laughs> So I don't, it can. My, I'm special. My, my, We're not talking my about is special. It's a, your yeah. special purpose. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> Excellent. I saw that little connection there. Wait, yes. what? 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 It, it is real. Not on me. It is yeah. real on women, and you can find it. It's mostly in the same place all the time, but uh, it does vary a little bit. Uh, is it on it Google Maps? Directly. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's a real film. Ooh, it's where's directly, my phone? Yes, oh, it's on Google Maps, but they can't tell you how ah. to get to it. <laughs> you stick your fingers in the vagina up. And that's yeah. about where it is. Okay, Google, okay. navigate to the G spot. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Hey, what is I there? Have a question. Do you have to use your fingers? Do you want to extend? Well, for, for most people do not have a curly wait. dome. We're going into foreplay. <laughs> this is part of foreplay, so go. Joe, ask your question. Oh, I, I just wanted to know if, if, if you could reach the G spot with your penis, or do you have to You can, the and that's what like, like those uh, sex pillows well, are for, is to pos length. position the hips okay. so that as you're thrusting, you're hitting the Okay, I take that back. That's the next section. This is foreplay. Bad joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just <laughs> asked a question. Too bad. <laughs> Crucify my <laughs> Ass. Okay, ready? Everybody crucify. Go! Oh, yeah. oh God bless me! Why have you <laughs> forsaken me? Hey, Joey! 
Okay. Okay, I found G's spot. <laughs> oh, my God. I found Jesus. <laughs> is it off the 405? It's 20 minutes from here. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, that's way up there, isn't and, it? <laughs> and uh, Lark Allen. Uh, Wait, where I'm four gonna, play. So, uh, four uh, play. To G spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, best, I, honestly, I, I live on a G street. He does live on G wow. street. Yeah. <laughs> found that too. <laughs> I wouldn't been able to find Joe. I have one though. Looking for a G spot and found Joe. <laughs> I have found that. Damn it. <laughs> Nothing but a G thing. <laughs> All right. So, uh, foreplay is obviously uh, women like it's usually more point. than guys, but it can be one of the best parts of sex, especially if you do it right. Favorite four well, plays? it makes the sex better, yeah. too. Because, yes, it does. You know, like, you don't want her to be all, you like, gotta dry and the not oven ready. Before so, you can yeah. start That's because most people don't believe in lube. Right. Lube is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It is nice. Lube is a thing great is, thing to have. It's, it's good, but if you can get by without it, it's good. It's better. You I are think. wrong, sir. It's flavored. Lube is awesome, and that's it's good thank for you. Natural oh, lube. Yeah. Natural when you're, lube. That's, that's just... When I think that's fallacious thing thinking. Is, that close natural thinking. lube is better. No, the lube is thing great. Is, and then when you get the natural lube, yeah. ask when you're, it's like we're talking about like even even natural corn. When you're naturally like clumsy yeah. like me, and you get too much lube, you just <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not putting down the lube. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm holding on to it. No. Um, <laughs> Daryl, what <laughs> down? The lube. It's, he's been picking it up for it all hurt. night. Yeah. <laughs> she no, goes no, right through you. The thing is, I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying, like, personally, I've had nice experiences where the lube was not required. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. And, and the same. Now, sure. the times the lube it, was, I was guess, required, it didn't like, really take away from anything. Okay. Joe, you have right. something to say about your lube. I'll just go like, with that. I'm just yeah, saying. Right. There's somebody talking with more sexual experience, possibly, than somebody else right now. Ooh! <laughs> I wonder who he's talking about. Okay, Daryl has made a good point. He just says that he's... You, you defended yourself well. He's, he's okay, stop! Telling... For right. play! <laughs> for play now! There's four of us! Let's, Let's play! play! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's uh, oral sex, which is uh, awesome, mm -hmm. and then there's uh, touching. touching all there's over a touchy, touchy. fingering and, and, uh, and licky licky licky. <laughs> We're doing the menu. Do we ever get the menu on? No, oh, I have to hit five on my hard drive in a box somewhere. It'll be in your hard drive. You might have to remake it. Yeah. Wait. You just said hard and in a box. Yeah. Right, okay. That's even foreplay. Though, <laughs> even though it is an, a sexual act that uh, you know oral <clears throat> sex tends to be uh, a Kind of like foreplay and then oral sex By the begins way, just, yeah. sex. Just for clarity for the home viewers, I will keep my hands above the table from the <laughs> during the podcast. And I'll be like this. Yeah. And I'll, I'll touch Daryl's tit. tit. No, no, that was wow. my hands are gonna that was last episode. No, that's not allowed. And as usual, my Stop hands it. will wander hey. under the table. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's been no information I, presented I'm, on this podcast. I'm punching people. I'm punching people. I love episode 50. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the actual act of sex, which is the... Intercourse. Mm, mm, mm. Positions. Start eight, four, five, seven. <laughs> <laughs> intercourse. Captain's log. Captain's, captain's log. log. Intercourse. No, the captain's Sorry. log has nothing to do with sex. Oh! Well, it can. <laughs> five, six, nine. You're doing a Cleveland bow tie, it does. <laughs> uh, so, position. When we come to sex with positions, uh, we got missionary. Doggy. Cowboy. Uh, cowboy reverse cowboy. 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 Cowboy.
<laughs> met. There's some things you just don't want to go back to. Yeah, I know, and but that's why I'm saying that's that's probably a good way to go, but it's more difficult. You should have seen. You're focusing on you. You should have seen the greatest speech talk done at PCC in my sex education class that I gave. Yes, you told me about it. I remember that. By the end of it, everybody was sitting there going, wow. <laughs> and you stuck it in every single every one. Single one. <laughs> oh, nice. wow. And my partner did nothing, and she still got an A. I, 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 serious <laughs> round, round, get around. Get around. He gets around. Yeah. Yeah. What do you? Uh, what about anal, how about sex, anal sex? Yes. I don't really care for it. That's a bullet go. I've never really tried it. Go before. Wait, I've never really tried it. You don't care receiving it no. either. All right, no, okay. okay. I I right. have to admit. Well, I got an you anal exam to. once. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, did you pass? And that I uh. -uh. No, when it's I called an that. anal probe, I don't think it counts. When I with the aliens, <laughs> I'm like, there's a perfectly good hole here. We don't have to go up there. Exit only. <laughs> that one's all dirty and stuff. I don't want to. Mm. Yeah. 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 Back road travels. <laughs> <laughs> the road less travels. <laughs> <laughs> I read that poem. Didn't know that's what it meant. It's like that movie. That, that, that opens a whole new meaning to that book. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I thought we weren't going to talk about gay sex. You started it. Oh, okay. It's just well, sex, no, You hey, started you with know, cowboy. Hey, you know what happened. <laughs> it, could yeah. be, it could be a cowgirl. Yeah. It's well, that no, I slipped and said cowboy. Was there was too, oh. there was too much lube. Too right? much lube. Joey's version of cowboys and aliens would look like. <laughs> <laughs> like they're probing. They're probing. Right probing. Yeah. <laughs> they got the six shooter. There, there are no horses in this movie, but goddamn, there's some riding. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 bareback. There are there are the horses. whips are bareback. <laughs> there are horses. <laughs> there's horse dick. Wait, what? You weren't horse okay. dick. All right, uh, a right, hundred sure. horse dicks. Oh, <laughs> or, one, yeah. or one giant or dick. one giant dick horse one giant duck right. dick or one hundred horse dicks duck duck horse duck, horse duck, 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 duck 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 let's oh, yeah, so, dick dick okay. Okay. It's, I'm sorry we're finding it hard to talk about this let's what go to the time code on that oh, something a little bit a little bit easier to talk about masturbation yes well, that's easier to do. Yeah. I'm doing it, it right now. It doesn't it take, take as much time. Where are my hands? All right. Um, Don't it's, be ashamed. It's good. It's, it's practice. Good for everybody. When it's I was a kid, I was body. ashamed. I was like, um, how could I be doing this? Your parents well, you there's mutual again. masturbation. You're bringing up a really good point. Um, the Well, one of the things that I thought might come up during this is like age of consent kind of things. Because like... If you want to talk about um, hair. like how there's like shame associated with with sex and everything, like how does that come about? It's generally like, religious. authorities. It's religious. Yeah. It's also governmental. When you want to um, have a docile public, you kind of try to take the sexuality away from them. I think and that they makes... would encourage them to because I'm pretty docile afterward. Yeah, yeah, he's but that, that doesn't last forever. <laughs> the thing is, and masturbation is also <laughs> this thing that's shunned and frowned upon, but it's. Um, I think it's more of a control issue, but then it's also a matter of like owning your body, right? If That's you right. own your body, then you're allowed to do what you want to with it. I agree. And with then that. our yes. government tells us we can't put certain substances in our bodies, etc. Mm -hmm. So it goes on to are you a are you grinding water. yourself there, Joey? I, I, I agree. I, I think <laughs> it's like all, oh yeah, and look, my, and look at my arms. Right. This is, this, is, this is this is what it was. I just figured you, it out because this is natural. If you're doing this, this is why I look like that on the camera. What? One of the things that I was thinking about with this is, um, like, some some parents are all like, "I'm not gonna let my child have sex, even if they go off to college." And like, you know, once they're 18, they're legally now in ownership of their body and allowed to make this yeah. decision. But the thing is, before that kind of consensual sex can happen, kids masturbate. No, and they know? will, and they yeah. will That's, young, and it will happen. Did you? Did and you? With the, you stuff? and I are gonna have to deal with that as dads. Yeah, because <laughs> already. It, Wes is like down, touch oh, down there. Like, already, whoa, 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 hand up here. They, yeah. It's, and you tell them hands off, kid. You've well, got, yeah, as, they, as we've said before. It's just, Logan has found himself. Yeah. 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 Well, the thing is, is that as Joey and I have talked about, we may have talked about it a little bit, is that 
basically you say it's natural it's a good thing enjoy yourself but it's something you do in private yeah, yeah. It's, yes yeah. and it's it's about you and your body right and, and, and it's you having sex with well, yourself and, and, and even right. like when i like my my parents i think would have been mortified if they'd have ever like seen that's just my assumption you know oh yeah or whatever Growing up with Mormon well, parents, it was like, no, you don't do that. You don't do that at all. Especially, I think, but I think they knew that I did. Catholics, you know, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, no. Like, I think anybody. If, you if don't want to walk in and see your like if you, child whacking it. It's one of those things, like, right, you want to keep it private or whatever, but what if you want to like control it. it a little bit? Because like, I would treat it like, eh, shut the door. No, I like too much TV or too much TV. I need to go. I know, but it's still shocking, though. No, but Daryl, but hold on. Wasn't it, like, enforcement? I want to go, I want to go. Hey, Dad. <laughs> like, well, on, this way, man. Stop! Like Everybody stop! We have dog. two different conversations going on here about masturbation. Okay, yes, it would suck to walk in on any kid and see them <laughs> masturbate. Oh, no sucking, yeah. then it's not masturbation. Okay, then it's not like, but it would be horrible. Now that being, none of us agree that it would be okay you know to walk in. Worse tweeting about it. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, look at what, what Daryl. But There's I like what Daryl's getting at. Is like if you, as a parent, <laughs> do you try to have any sort of control over that at all? Right, because it can be an overindulgence issue. Like you know, if they eat too much candy, they're going to be like obese and have teeth problems. You know, but is or that one that you can get involved in in our society? I, what, I wonder about that. I, I think it'd be weird difficult. to have like you know. I think they got to say, oh, like, Joey's, you know. He's going upstairs. Well, you know, our it's, parents it's, said, like, it's his pee pee time. No more than know? an hour of Nintendo in the evening. So, like, they can say, like, okay, stop beating it after 60 minutes, kid. Oh I'm God. extending the masturbation. <laughs> okay. All right. Joe. Joe. <laughs> Dude, that happens all the time. Okay. Over I, time. I'm <laughs> not a parent. So, I but you masturbate. On this. I do masturbate, yes. But would you encourage your kid and help them say it's not a Oh, a no, thing? you know, I would no. never help yeah. my kid masturbate. No, seriously. No, 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 no. I'm saying I don't want to watch what you're doing, but would you yeah, not but you wanted to help him? I'm saying, would you buy him magazines or oh. videos and stuff? No, it's a rite of passage. Okay? You're on your own. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, yeah. Let them find your own porn. You learn to walk you by yourself. You learn to <laughs> play with yourself. By... That's it. Thank Good you. point. <laughs> Quick personal story. Uh, the guys here know about this. My uh, my ex didn't want me masturbating, and so I did that for a while, or didn't, didn't do that, do for, that a for a while. Not just your ex, your ex-wife. Well, ex-wife, yeah. 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 And I, I try not to remember that part. Uh, okay. My ex, yes. <laughs> and so, uh, it was like that for a long time, but then it got to the point where I was back to doing it again, and was yeah. tiny. And the thing You're that off I the think, wagon. I th- off the wagon, yeah. <laughs> or on, on the wagon. wagon. <laughs> yeah. well, thing, I think, or you were wagon. I think what a lot of women may not know is how good guys are at hiding it, because we have been doing it from, you know, Puberty as soon years. as we could, as right. soon as we could, <laughs> and it, we were hiding it from the beginning. Yeah, we are very good at knowing how to stay not caught. Hey, it's like you know when we're camping. It's like, hey guys, I'm gonna go wash the pots and pans in the middle of the night, and then you know behind a tree, you're like, <laughs> if he does that, I'm not <laughs> eating the next that, morning. I did. Pots and pans. What's this in the pot? <laughs> it's, it's like I'm not gonna wash this white. pot again. Don't worry about it. That's spick and span. <laughs> All of our camping trips now. I know. Oh, hey, I did yeah. not do anything with the pots and pans. I'm just saying that was the excuse. All right. You know? well, my idea. Like, oh, I have. They need to have a reason. In to the middle of the forest. Wander out into the forest. Yeah, dude. I want to extend this. I want to extend this masturbation again. Okay, oh God, this is the longest masturbation. <laughs> No, well, we can make it all agree. No, we can make this a big extent. I say big extent. Yes, this I is, agree. This you? is the Viagra of extent. Okay, four okay. minutes right. extent. Right. Four, four minutes. minutes. All right. Blue Add pill. those four inches. That's for the day only. <laughs> all right. Is that uh, masturbation is sex with yourself, and you are allowed to do that anytime you want privately. Because only one and party has to agree. Right, exactly. It's and consensual. the thing is, when you're married... If you're telling yourself no, that means no, though. <laughs> no, if you're, no. <laughs> yes. If you're no, yes. yourself. Well, it's, but, 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 if you give yourself the safe because, word, But you've got to you be know? careful. You can't do it at work, because that's not private, right? Because right. right. I know you exactly. had an experience... Well, I'm going to say good. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not you, but you had to deal with somebody else. Right, right, right. 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 The thing is, is that you can masturbate Seriously, as much as you want to within your I marriage. Would never do that. As oh, long as never. it does not take away from the sex that you have with your wife. If it Correct. starts taking away from the sex you're having with your yes. wife, then there's a problem. Joe! There's kind of a movie that explains what you guys are talking about with the whole masturbation and relationships. It's called Don John with uh, Andrew Gordon-Levitt. 
and it's. I heard that movie. I haven't seen mm-hmm. it. I'm it telling was you, he, Black it Widow. Was, no, mm-hmm. it's like, damn, it. He it's always funny. has porn, okay. even yeah, though he has women. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. giving a spoiler. Tap shit. That. I'm okay. sorry. Do you guys give spoilers? Yes, we do. Spoiler Go. alert! Spoiler alert! Go. He gives a list, and he has Keeps girls on, list on his list. It's like family, God, country, blah, working out, yeah. girls, and porn. <laughs> that sounds about right. And he gives an explanation as to why he, as a guy, and many other guys, masturbate with porn, even if they're in a relationship. And mm-hmm. it's a good explanation. Well, we're visual. We're well, visual. Yeah. pornography is the next section, so we'll yeah. save that for that. Let's get back to masturbation. Thank you. Yeah. Go! Yeah. Let's get back to the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this oh is such God. a circle joke. Well, I mean, we can start to talk. About <laughs> uh, well, the thing is, is you can also masturbate with someone over the internet too, mm-hmm. with teldodonics. Right. right, like you can. They the have phone. places now where mm-hmm. you, you can have uh, computers that have you can Both. hook up a dildo to, right. and then somebody in Japan could be controlling that. Masturbating a girl here in America, <laughs> or just like slapping you on the face. <laughs> yeah. only, or or slap it. It's like you're yeah. like an idiot. God damn it! <laughs> He's like, oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, were we, were we masturbating in Japan? Um, <laughs> Godzilla! <laughs> no, that's turning Japanese. <laughs> oh. That is how it is. That's what the, the one thing is is that on the, the last thing on there is. Can masturbating make you a better lover? I would yes. say yes. 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 It depends on how you do it. Yeah. The more you Teach do us, it Kale. in a way, I will later. <laughs> Damn, I, I might, I I might extend this again. Because <laughs> I have something to say about this. Or a lot right. to say well, the this. thing, I'll, I'll be quick and then you okay. go. <laughs> All right. Dude, see, that's what makes him such a good lover. <laughs> Just ask Linda. <laughs> The thing is, don't ask me because I don't know. It's how <laughs> if you do, you know, if you masturbate in a way that you normally have sex, like if you're on your hands and knees as positioning yourself and you're masturbating, that will help. But if you're in a weird position that you normally wouldn't be in when you're having sex and you're masturbating, it would hinder your ability to have good sex. So stop yeah, doing I usually put bars. one leg behind my head and go for it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I can't ever get that out of my head now. I'm sorry. I'm glad to. Hey, I'm extending again. Right. I'm such an a-hole. Yeah, so how was the podcast on sex? Uh, it turned into a whole oh, yeah. circle jerk of It was more of a podcast on <laughs> masturbation. Yes, go ahead. Yes, 43 minutes. Well, you know, it's funny. We have so such tr- trouble talking about sex. And then this, it gets to masturbation. It's only a two masturbation. It's because okay, we have the most experience with that. Go. That's yeah. true. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's true. No, okay. I think it's a double-edged sword because it can make you a better um, lover in several ways. I think. I'm, I'm, okay, this is one of the things where I want to take it away from being personal experience. I just want to say that these are some of the possibilities. Okay, but it could help you improve endurance, for example. Yes. Like if you want to learn how to like not come in thirty seconds, then you know you can masturbate more. Another thing is. It helps you learn so, your own no, genitalia. So more, you can masturbate longer, not more. Because you can have lots of short sex. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, for longer. It's not that porn mm. So the thing is, the other aspect of it is learning your own genitalia. Like, you know what parts feel good and what parts don't. So then you can instruct your lover how to deal with you. Yeah. Um, and then the other, the other no, thing. No, no, no. Let me show you. I think you should also, um, you know, take this the time with your partner. Now, the. If you're if you're in a masturbation and you happen to be homosexual, that's going to be a big advantage because you're going to Didn't know other people's junk. You know, because you oh. know your junk, you're going to be familiar. There was a there was a book written by a gay guy about how to give the best blowjobs. Right. And it was by a guy who's gay, and so yeah, he was teaching women. Yeah, anyone who wanted to read right. it. Well, yeah. it, was it, oh, it was a big hit with women. Yeah. Well, another one last point. Um, I think oh, where, there was. where it can be a hindrance is that. Um, Sometimes you get used to the feel of masturbation, and then you might have a harder time getting uh, off with someone else doing it. That that can be a hindrance. Actually, uh, kind of my first time sexual time, I was kind of like, well, "This isn't that great," because I was so used to it myself, right. and I knew what I liked, and the other person. Because you get accustomed to yeah. a particular mm. feel. 
Right. Joe, have, quick, go. Yeah, Mojo. Move on. Real quick. Pornography. I just love how all you guys are just talking for guy terms, and the women think about masturbation in a whole new light. That's, that's a good right. point. Right, and yeah. that's, we, we can cover that in part, part two. Part, of the oh, part, two. Part, two. part two. Even we though we've that. done all this, like, ta- ex- extended time, part it seems like we don't have enough time to cover it all. Even though that's that should be We should have a masturbation episode. If you really want to talk masturbation, get some women involved in this conversation. We're not. This is, this is pornography, so yes. we can continue to talk yeah. about porn. Uh, well, yeah, okay. I think there's nothing wrong with <laughs> pornography. I think it's a very good thing, and honestly, and this is just for me. I think it. I've never considered when I'm in a relationship cheating at all because I wouldn't want to hurt the other person ever. But I think a large part that I'm not. <laughs> I said large part. <laughs> uh, large a big reason. A big reason why I don't have any desire to cheat is because I got porn. If I, right, I that's right. so much easier than finding a woman, you know, and and the thing is, we're vi- very visual, visual, yeah, and so it's just and speaking from a man who's getting a, you know into midlife, you need more than a little stimulation. You need a little more, and if you have visual stimulation, it's chasing not, the okay. dragon. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Joe, go. You want to do it like you did when you were 18. South they, Park. They, they covered it with Randy. He wanted to masturbate touring. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he had all different weird images yeah, that, was that he funny. got off on. In the, in the internet. And that's what Cause the he was, internet does. Because he was so... And that would hinder you was, from being a better lover. Well, no, he yeah. was so jaded from, like, normal porn. He needed something, yeah, like, needed like, crazy, yeah. stupid, yeah. That's what I was horrible, like gross. Like animal midget porn or yeah, something. Yeah, it was a way exaggerated, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. But, yeah, no, and the... Uh, the I think that I think the porn is a very positive thing, but like anything, it can be uh, abused. Well, Linda and I have actually used porn while we're having sex to spice it up a little bit every once in a while. You know, like if we go to a hotel and it has porn, sometimes we'll turn the porn on, and it's, nice. it's and you know a little different thing, and it's fun. Mm-hmm. I do that with Sports Center. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, those chrome yeah. domes. Oh yeah. That oh is yeah. a little different. Slap his ass. Slap yeah. his ass. That is a little different. Look at the size of her mic. Yeah. Wow. Sports. But and the good thing about the internet is pornography is so available now. I think that's and another free. reason why yeah. we, and free, we don't have to worry about our kids so much not being able to, you know, find porn. Find yeah. porn. That was a big mind concern of mine. <laughs> Gee, well, I little Billy be able to find that. porn. We had to scour the streets for a picture. <laughs> what I mean is they don't have to go to some dirty newsstand. I, you know what First I'm trying to say. First time I saw a vagina in a picture, men- I'm like, they're so dirty. I know, I was like that too. <laughs> it's, it's pastrami. It's not <laughs> <out> here. <laughs> Jesus. It's pastrami with an airstrip. <laughs> oh, oh it, it's, <laughs> oh. it's sad because it's that, true. The one thing I do when I get with, in with porn oh, yeah, is my pet peeve, <laughs> which is <laughs> Kale's pet, pet peeve of pussy protest, okay. which is Cut, You're protesting shaving. pussy? I'm protesting shaved. Are you cutting out entirely? Shaved pussy. Are you going cold pussy? Stop so, that so pussy is being anti-shaved. shaved. I like yeah. the pussy. I, it's fine with I, me. I like to I look know. at pussy. I think it's beautiful, but I want at least landing strip. I don't want yeah, a fast girl. I'm fine, I'm fine with either. I think I the hair think is hot. Yeah. yeah. So do I. I. I as long as it's not like a... You know, as yeah, long as it's not a forest. Or you can't see anything, you know. Yeah. Can't see the fine. Have a pet peeve. Can't see the tree for the forest. Yes, Joe. I think we're going. It just seems a little confusing when women do shave completely down there, and then men go wonder why. You know, oh, I really want a young hot girl because that's what their image is. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. I think that that is part of why it's a turn off for me is that it's a little pedophilia. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think about a twelve year old. Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't don't see that. I don't think that. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about different types of sex. We've got. uh, We're not going to get into it too much, but this is the area of things like prostitution. Uh, things like uh, legalize it. Yeah, sex well, for money, as in sex pornography. For, well, pornography is yeah, as well as uh, money for sex. Sex for free. <laughs> Stop it! I can't think. <laughs> the, the other Kinky thing. Sex. Yeah, thank you. Fetishism. Fetishism was the word I was looking for. Sadomasochism. Saddam Husseinishism. Humiliation. Focus on the body parts. Bondage. Rubber or leather clothing and pony play and furries. Okay, so let's start off with prostitution. Legalize. Yes. No. Thank you, Joe. Yes. Why not? Yes. We kind of did that on the Vices episode. Yeah, see Vices episode. We're, so we're being consistent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, what about that? Okay, isn't porn well, here's another thing. prostitution? I think 
it goes back to the ownership thing. I think a woman owns her body. And when when you're saying about the docility thing, like, you know, after you have sex, you feel do docile, it's empowering. I think that's why it's such a power play that authorities want to take sex away from people because they want to basically say, like, you well, shouldn't feel empowered. It's a really by... basic drive, and so the authorities want to control that yeah. because then they control you a lot. And that's part of making prostitution illegal is that it's just like, you know, this... You know, in the eyes of yeah, the law, and that's been women, so successful. women don't own their bodies <laughs> to the point of being able to sell. I mean, you know, and women would probably nature. women would probably be a lot happier with it too, because then guys who are, you know, if it's not a big deal, and guys who are single go to pros go to brothels or whatever all the time. Maybe when they're going out, they're not just looking for tail. They're actually looking for some sort of relationship. Well, I don't think you can. Um, <laughs> I don't think tail. Tail. Hey. <laughs> well, I don't no. think you can make a blanket statement like all women. No, 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 no. Feel that way, I, but I mean, I know some are really against it. But the thing is, I'm saying like you know, I might not be into the idea of like smoking pot. Like I don't want it for myself, but I don't want to tell someone else what they can or cannot do. Right. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about with vice. And as a when I was a young man and not married you know when I was over in Korea, I went to prostitutes because I I was only gonna be there for a short time. There's an I didn't want to get in a relationship with anybody, but I still wanted to enjoy having sex. And so prostitutes what did you do once you got there? What? What did you do once you got there? Got you said you went to prostitutes. With, with who comes so, first? Oh, well, I had sex with them. That's oh. what you do. I did some threesomes. I, you know, I it was know, you, could gone, you could have gone there for counseling for what? a while. <laughs> <laughs> you said you went to them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was understood. I was going to have sex okay. with them. All right. Joe! I just want to say I was okay. baptized Roman Catholic, and it's a mortal sin to have sex out of wedlock. And I held that belief up until I was 24, until I lost my virginity. And I did that by choice. Good choice, Joe. Good choice. So, and I regret that choice because it's so well, much look, fun. I totally understand that. Yeah. I, the first time I had sex was when I was 13. But then, because of the religiousness, I didn't have was sex it, against... <laughs> oh, whoa. She's a Mormon, not a Catholic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or was, this is not. <laughs> oh, wow. No, with a female. A nun? And then I did... <laughs> Do they allow female priests in the Mormon church? No, they do not. Okay. Then you're fine. The thing is, is that then I didn't have sex again until I was like 19 or 20. And so it was because of that religiousness. And all right, according to our rules, I was having sex because I was doing dry humping and and hand jobs and stuff like that. So You but see, that's why you think you need lube. Because of all the dry. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, what about uh, dry what about what about fetishes and and uh, kinky stuff? Fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting off? Like, yeah. None shall pass. <laughs> well, we're gonna get into fetishes more on our on our sloppy seconds episode. Yeah. That was great. All right. All right. Let's move into. Uh, what do you like about sex? What kind of sex is your favorite? What is the best sex you've ever had? No names, please. <laughs> I'm Joey. I'm Joey. <laughs> I'm uh, Joey, and I've had my best sex with sex. Lefty. And no uh, names. Uh, yeah, the worst uh, sex you've ever had. With Lefty here. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> and by the way, I'm glad that was my shoulder. Yeah, not I want that in your boobies. Uh, no worry. No. So go ahead, Kel. Oh, me first? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just okay, we're not talking about masturbation porn anymore, so now we're all, all right. quiet. Sex. Well, the hey, best it sex... it went to 54 minutes without stopping. Oh, the, that's, 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 that's what I've shown that. Said. There's no I file size that, limit. <laughs> really? Damn. <laughs> nice. The thing is... is hey, Daryl. Put her there. Get a Daryl, hit the picture. The button, thing is, the is that so we get the a picture best for, like, sex that I ever had was when I did what I call a theme sex, where I created what I called the Temple of Love and Passion, and I'll post pictures of right. the not us right. doing it but <laughs> of the actual temple of love and passion and was that like, was, was that like Indiana Jones the I remember the temple of love and passion I've some some voice Kalima Anyway, and the reason, one of the reasons why the sex was the best because, was because you ripped your heart out. Your, no, because I was in love with the person I was having sex with, oh, and that oh, made it you. so much better. Who was that? Wow. We can't say names. Yeah. Anyway, no but it was someone in this room, and the, I felt very. She had a bag over her head. So. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, my God. Oh. Anyway, so... And it that's was, why it was Daryl. It was because it was romantic, uh. and it was enjoyable in that we really connected a lot, and that made it, even though just on the sex itself was really good. Yeah, every but time someone's that, talking about a relationship and they say they connected, I laugh a little on the inside just because of the terminology. <laughs> we really connected. Yeah, anyway, I know what that means. Go ahead, you guys. Uh-huh. That was me. All right. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, <laughs> <Dead> silence. <laughs> Paul and I would like to say the best sex we've ever had is with our wives of course. all the time. Yes, you only. weren't supposed to say with who. You said no names. That's, That's right. not a name. I didn't say a name. No. Why? Wait, and I just Why? say, not with... Our wives. <laughs> it was with my wife with my, wife <laughs> my wife. and his wife. His my real wife. Yeah, they didn't yeah. name so names. They yes. didn't say we. Wait, I said they Paul. didn't say <laughs> they didn't say Kether and him. No. <laughs> That sounds and, like a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jules, Tar- 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 and Tether him. Tar- <laughs> Tar- oh my no, god. No, I, I agree, oh. Kale. The, oh. the best sex is when you're in love because the whole then your is delicious. your um. You're open to things. You're, See, yeah, you're comfortable. You open, trust in that, right. and that really yeah. is is the best experience because right. it really brings out your emotions. You're, you know, yeah. you're safe and and you you can bring everything out. Right. And if there's a slip into the anus, you don't mind it so much. <laughs> yes, I no. do. <laughs> 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 Whoa! So yeah, no, I mean, what did you put there? Sense, I mean, you know, I should have you know. specified a finger into the a- in yeah. my anus didn't bother me so much. <laughs> Please don't specify. It's always more. better when there are a lot of feelings <laughs> involved. Okay. Yes, I am curious. Are you guys open-minded if your I don't like where this is going. <laughs> wanted to put something in your anus? No. Right now, no. Because <laughs> I've had some yes. really bad. But all you saying? I just I have. And and I'll, I'll admit not, this: is it a that um, you've never experienced at a time before I was involved with this serious relationships, and before I was married. <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never <laughs> know. No sense. No. That was Unless you really want to know. Unless Go, you really want to know. Okay, is where I let a, a woman use a strap on on me, and it was okay. It wasn't my biggest in, enjoyable sex, but it was okay. So this part of that Kale's talking about is what. Is your favorite part of sex? What do you like most about that sex? Was, really? That wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, no, we're in the topic. <laughs> <laughs> were you playing still block one one three eight or something? <laughs> no, actually, that was the last one. <laughs> that was prison. Okay, guards sexual conclusion. Sexual conclusion. Yeah. Let's fill in whatever you want to talk about. What didn't we hit? What didn't we do? What, what didn't we? That's other why. sexual in- There's in- so much stuff we didn't get to. But oh um, well, yeah, I know. That's why so, it's going to be a port two. Yeah, right. A port sloppy port seconds. Part two. Porky's two, two sloppy port- seconds. <laughs> that's it. Um, and terrible thirds and floppy fourths. Part two, guys. No, but it's it's good Four. to experiment and and find things because you, you might find things that you really enjoy. Yeah, I, I think when it comes down to sex, it's uh, when you're with the right person, you can explore a lot of different things. Yeah, and it's to um, explore each other and trust each other, and that's yeah. what makes yeah. it. Uh, it's good. Yeah, I, I I've done a trust fall during sex. So. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, we're in the middle. Wait, let's do, do a I, trust fall. I, <laughs> a trust fall. I'm feeling very close to I, right now. I want to do a trust fall. I have to ask you. This do trust I, fall is bending over. <laughs> do I come last or just Joe? Oh. You come last. You always, always. come last. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know. He's Go, pretty, Joe. Go, know, he's Joe. He's pretty... Okay. Extends. I just want to touch on what you said oh, about touch the, it. the anus thing. Mm-hmm. I knew three. You want to touch my anus? Line. No, no, no. Okay. I, I'm just saying. Good. There were three Not guys. I you had three guys. Friend. Listen. <laughs> hey, no, he friend. had five guys the other night. <laughs> they met a girl. They never ever had their anus touched, and the girl did it the one time. They shot their load, and they married that girl. Really? Immediately. All, All three of them? All three. That is not allowed. Married the girl? No, no, no. Three separate guys, three separate girls. Oh, I thought it was one girl, no, three no, 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 guys. No. One guy met this girl, and that happened, and another guy is like, oh. he met this girl, and that happened again. And then well, thus you're hanging out with weird people. It could be by like anus. some guys and some women actually have orgasms through anal sex. Yeah, it's the process. Right, that wasn't my case, but, uh, you know, lots of girls. Well, yeah, that was on road trip. There was, my sister has had one. Right, yeah, right now. Well, though. Haven't some people's, that haven't, I, I think it's kind of just like this um, rumored thing, but some people have said that, like, the men's G-spot is in their anus. <laughs> it's like, okay, whatever. I don't know. I don't, I, 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 I have a hard time believing that. Let's find if it. If it is, whatever. 
I guess um, I don't have long enough fingers. I don't know. I know. <laughs> that whole plunger went up there. Look, the time, no, the time G.I. Joe explored the, the cavern, they didn't find the G-spot. Okay, just <laughs> yeah, we already did. G-spot's on the highway. G-spot's in Ontario. Hey, G-spot's in Ontario. Just saying. All right. It was Ontario, right? It was, um... <laughs> it was 22 minutes away, wherever it was. It's way up there. Yeah. So, uh, it's I wanted, um... We should have done it. Or okay, the thing I think go. we didn't cover, and Joe's right, we didn't talk from women's perspective. But enough, there's a reason. Oh, Glendora. Because we're all guys. Oh, yeah. West Covina. The thing is, I wanted, I wanted to say, though, I think one of the more important things that can happen in terms of sexual freedom is, you know, let's liberate women. Let's give them their bodies back. Let's Thank you. not shame them, not, not have them feel guilty. Women out there, please be proud of your bodies. I have never taken please away a woman's body. Please get to know... Body. Never your parts, once. because if you know how to pleasure yourself, you can tell your guy how to pleasure you, and, be and you're going to have to a, a very guy. rich and fulfilling love life because right. you are and take your man. Your you time. can you can reach Daryl if you're interested at area code six two six four four six. Oh, stop! <laughs> have my old phone. Yourself, that's all. It still works. <laughs> you just get hold of your mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. That if you want Daryl, so call his mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically like, Daryl lives with his mom. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. We well, actually out. didn't say Darryl. that. <laughs> oh, shit. It went out. I guess maybe at an hour it kind of... All right. Okay, we're back on. Well, that's a good point to edit because I cannot talk about my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Even though now you've started it Wait, and you, you we've heard that. Okay, again. I'm on, yeah. <laughs> You're on. Okay. Clap. Oh, we all got no, the clap. No, he <laughs> clapped. <laughs> It's gonna mess them up. Yeah, that's baby. another okay. part we didn't talk about venereal diseases. That'll be that should be the next, next one. All right, when next are we back one. on? Yeah, three, two, one. So you were like, yeah. you were like, hey, my mom's looking for some help. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was, uh, I was looking for someone to watch over her. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> so, Kale, thank you so much for bringing us sex this week. We all yes. needed some. <laughs> I hope you were satisfied. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was very a deep Little conversation. Bit. We need to go again. Next time, we'll satisfy you even more. Okay, yeah. good. But because like, there will be a part you know what? Two. I, I just need it's to like wait a, twenty minutes. <laughs> okay. It's like a lot of things. Just talking about it is frustrating. You want to like go do it. I'm not. Just what? I'm not. I'm really okay. Right We're now. not going to put that oh, in the yeah. show notes. <laughs> that's probably because you've had some more recently than I. Have. Well, see, and that's that's another good point. I think I was late. The sex is only so important when you're not <laughs> getting it. Figuratively. When you're not getting it, it's really important. <laughs> Why do you think Heather was late, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Oh, Joe? Twice, um, yeah. I don't know if you guys would like me to come back to the next one. I would like to, and if you have fans and they want to have a poll, go ahead. <laughs> I'd like to see somebody dancing on that yeah. poll. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but uh, if not all of our fans. Like oh, it's good to know Joe's off. Not that one poll. guy with the teddy bear. I okay, don't, next. I don't want to see him on the poll. Next week, oh, yeah. Paul's choice. Ah, Paul's choice. Paul, oh, yes, we're gonna talk about private. See. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been a good topic. Yeah. <laughs> privacy. Actually, I want to get. Let's get into privacy. Actually, this is really good with the the now with the Edward privacy. Snowden thing mm -hmm. making news again. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, do definitely. we really have? Privacy and the and the, the guy uh, Clipper guy, yep. yeah, the, and Snowden yeah. talking yeah. now. <laughs> so I, that's mm -hmm. good. Uh, okay, so privacy will be next week. Uh, you'll be able to listen and see us again because we're doing this camera thing for good now. I think. And uh, yeah, and. Uh, so uh, you can always reach us at uh, show at I was gonna say Gmail for some reason. <laughs> show at <laughs> iamrambling dot com. Uh, any last words, anybody? Joe, is anything else you want to say before we go? Do you guys want me to keep coming to your other podcasts? No. Okay. No. Yes, we do. Yes. Joe. Yes. Oh, I'm it. just kidding. Oh my god. When you can make it, great. Yeah. Such a guess. Uh, best okay. So uh, this is Joey Shamble. And this is Paul Hottinger not hey. having to cuddle. You can kill. All right, all right. Kale Anderson cuddling. <laughs> and Daryl George staying the hell away. <laughs> and Ed Joe, a.k.a. Ralph, you bitches. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and remember, we're incoherent, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish.
Oh, that was so good. I don't know that ending. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, I think I spent myself early. <laughs> oh, you maybe, did. You smoke. It was too I, soon. I was smoke. That's why I'm sticky. God, so much damn lube.